Alright, Shalom on Makyam. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakla Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and salutations to you brothers out there that's pushing this truth. Alright, brothers, uh, I want to get into this quick lesson, basically dealing with the fear of the Lord, you know. And the fear of the Lord is the key to success, man. Okay. And you must have a healthy fear of the Lord to 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 grow. To stay in his truth, you know, to to be blessed, you know, for the Heavenly Father to look after you and your family, you know, to be delivered. All right. You must have a healthy fear of the Lord. All right. And that's what the Heavenly Father want, because when the, when you fear the Lord, you you want to do the right thing. OK. You tend to do the right thing. And that's what we want to do, man. We want to stay doing the right thing and, you know, and leave the wrong things to these two thirds, man. OK, so we want to be in the class of always trying to please the Lord. How are you going to please the Lord? By having a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai. OK, the fear of the Lord is what gets you, is what motivates you and, and drive you to do the right thing. OK, so. Uh, I ain't gonna waste no time. Just start off with Sirach 18 and 27. And it reads, A wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning, he will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe time. Yeah, and, and you know, and it's, it's plain, really. It says, A wise man will fear in everything. So, the elect, okay, the man that's in the truth. We fear in everything that we do, man, on a daily, man. You know, you go outside, you go to a, a bar or whatever, man. You know, that fear of the Lord is with you, okay? When you when you meet a woman, first thing you ask her, do you have a, uh, you know, do you have a, a, a man? And she'll tell you, yay yeah, or nay, you know? That's one of the questions that we ask a woman, man. Because that's the fear of the Lord. Because we don't want to commit adultery. Okay. It's showing you right there. That's that's the fear of the Lord, man. To get us to, to ask the question to that woman, man. Okay. You don't want to just dive in and shit and not ask that question. And then later on you find out that she has uh, a man she's been dealing with. Which is her husband. Okay, oh, if a woman is dealing with a man, really, it's her husband. Okay, so yeah, man, those are the, you know that's that's uh that's the fear of the Lord right there that that pushed us to ask that question, man. Okay, it's different things during your day that you know that uh that the fear of the Lord will come in and 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 and, and let you know. Okay, yeah, that's the fear of the Lord, man. Okay, certain things you don't do because it's the fear of the Lord. All right. And being in his truth, if you're a part of the elect, you're going to have the fear of the Lord in you. Okay. It's just certain things you do not want to do. All right. You know, hey, um, a wise man knoweth when he slippeth, though. You know, we all slip. You know, but the thing is. Okay, you know that you slipped on that shit. All right. You know, when they come back around, man, I ain't gonna slip on that same shit. You know? So, that fear of the Lord to keep you in check, man. All right? So, I read that once again. It says, a wise man will fear in everything. All right? So, everything we do, man, we got that fear of the Lord in us. And we it, that's what pushes to... to uh, to not fall to the left or to the right, you know, to keep that sh that path on a straight gate, okay? The fear of the Lord is the balance, okay? It's what keep us uh, on, that, on that path, man, while falling to the left or to the right, okay? And it says, in a day of sinning, he will be aware of offense. So if we do slip, we know. Okay, we'll know like, damn, I slept, you know, because a wise man knows when he slept. Okay, and you be like, damn, okay, I, damn, Lord, forgive me, you know, I'm not gonna slip on that again. 
okay but it says this but a fool will not observe time a fool will not be aware of what the hell he done he'll just keep slipping and falling over the same damn thing you know and that's not how you're supposed to be man okay you're supposed to have that healthy fear of your heart by shimmy was shy man you supposed to always know what the hell is going on okay because the heavenly father has blessed us with this truth blessed us with the uh blessed us to to know okay what the deal is man okay and the deal is um uh, to know when the hell you slip to know before you before to know really to know okay shit i see it coming i'm not gonna slip all right because that's that wisdom in you okay because when you uh when you have a fear of the lord you know the fear of the lord is is wisdom okay and we're gonna get into that scripture all right because the fear of the lord is wisdom man all right so it says uh uh, it's like here. Yeah. It says, A wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning, he will be aware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. So, a fool, he's just gonna keep doing what he do, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father's not dealing with a cat like that. All right, they just keep falling, keep falling, keep falling on the same shit. All right. The Heavenly Father has blessed us with wisdom, you know, and knowledge and understanding to know, okay, shit, I know what I need to do. I know not to slip on that again, okay? So whatever you're doing in the world, do it no longer, man. Return unto the Lord, man, all right? Forsake thy sins, all right? And 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 seek the Lord, man. Fast, pray, do what you need to do, man, Okay? Because it's like I say, the doors of mercy is closing, okay? So, the next scripture I'm going to get is uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Because that's what we need to be doing. Because if you're not examining yourself, how in the hell are you going to know if you're in the spirit or not? Okay? So, the scriptures read 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. It says, examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. So, you're supposed to examine your spirit, examine yourself. You know, basically look over your your faults. Look over your your yourself. See if there's any faults, and if there is any, don't do them no more. You know, you examine where you slipped at, and then you say to yourself, okay, not to go on that same path no more. You create a new path, okay? Because that path it has a hole on that road. And you don't want to fall in that hole no more. So you got a new road that you're going. You know what I'm saying? That road to success, man. Okay? So it says, examine yourself, brother. You be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Prove it to your own self. Okay? So it says, know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah is in you. So Yahweh Shah is in us, man. So we got to represent Yahweh Shah to the best of our ability, man. Okay? We got to uh, we gotta do the best we can because when people look at us, you know, we representing Yahweh Shai, man, okay? Just as well as, like, you know, when you go out and your woman, the way she's, she is, man, if she's all uncovered, her ass cheeks is showing, you know, she's all titties and showing and shit, every print of her body is showing, that's a representation of you, man. That let people know, okay, well, shit, this, he's just a nigga, you know? He's just a nigga that like to uh, flaunt his woman all, all out and shit and just, you know? That's not how you're supposed to be, you know? The way, you know, your woman's supposed to be covered up, you know what I'm saying? And your woman represent you, man. You're one flesh, so your woman represent you. Okay, the same thing. We represent Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So we supposed to be at our best, man. Okay? We're not supposed to be walking around like fools, not knowing what the hell going on, what time we in, and we just slipping all the goddamn time and shit. 
Okay. So it says, examine yourselves, brother, you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah is in you, except ye be reprobates. Okay, and that's what you want to be. You don't want to be a reprobate, man. Okay, a reprobate means a lack of judgment and understanding, void of understanding. Okay, so the Heavenly Father has blessed us with understanding. If you don't have understanding, that means you ain't a part of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, but the elect man is going to know. Okay, um, where he, where his fault is at, where he slipped, and he gonna know not to do it again. Okay, so we supposed to examine ourselves on a daily, not a weekly, but a daily, man. A daily, it's just a daily thing, man. You know, during the day, you know, you supposed to uh, examine yourselves, man. Okay, so that's 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 a man. That's that has the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He's going to examine himself, not just just you know just doing some stupid shit all the time, man. You know you always he always got those cats that you always gotta watch over and shit because they ain't in the spirit. You know, like what's up with this cat, man? You know he always doing the wrong shit. Next thing you know, he gets suspended on some shit. You know, it take that it take. For the man to get suspended, for him to know, okay, damn, I slipped. It shouldn't be that. It sh you should check your own self. You should check your own spirit. You should know your own self, man. Okay? So, uh, getting on with the next scripture is uh, Sirach 19 and 18 to 20. And it, uh, Sirach 19 and 18, it reads, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom attaineth his love. So that's the fear of the Lord is the step, is the step to be accepted of him. So okay, because with the fear of the Lord, that's the balance. That's what keep you locked in. That's what keep you, you 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 um, you level headed. Okay, where you ain't swaying to the left or to the right, man. Okay, that's the balance. That's what. That's what will, uh, you have that fear of the Lord, the Heavenly Father will bless you with wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. Yahweh Shah will come sup with you because he know, okay, yeah, he fears. Okay, he's doing it. I mean, he, you fear, you're doing the right thing, man. So if you fear, you're going to do the right thing, okay? The Heavenly Father going to have you, uh, the Spirit's going to have you in check. Okay, verse 19, the knowledge of the commandments the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of the of of life. Okay, the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. That's what's going to keep you grounded, keep you humble. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, get you saved, man. Okay, having that healthy fear of the Heavenly Father, man. Because when when you have fear, then comes knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Okay, and it says, and they that do things that Please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. So ultimately, at the end of the day, man, we're going to receive the kingdom. Okay. And we're going to uh, we're going to be blessed, man, beyond our imagination. Okay. And we're going to live forever. All right. We're going to be the governors of the galaxy, the guardians of the galaxy. Okay. And, and the Heavenly Father is going to ultimately bless us, man, because we had that fear of the Lord. We did the right thing. Okay, uh, we're we're unspotted, man. Okay, unspotted. But it talks about uh, the white garments, man, in Revelation. Okay, those that feared the Lord. Okay, so it says the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Okay, that's life, man. All right, knowing what the Heavenly Father want and don't want. Is doctrine of life, man. Okay. Heavenly Father, look out for you, man. It says, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality, man. Okay. So we're going to constantly get fed with knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Where, you know, the Heavenly Father is going to continue blessing us. And ultimately, we're going to be in the kingdom, living forever. Okay. Spurge your power. Okay. We're going to be... We're going to be the first of everything, man. Okay. And that's what I want, man. I want to be in the chariot, man. 
at the end of the day, I want to be in the chariot, okay? So verse 20, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. See, the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So you have the fear of the Lord, man. You know what to do and what not to do. That is success, man. That's all wisdom, okay? The Heavenly Father, uh, uh, man, bless you, man. Yahweh Shah will sup with you and increase you and keep increasing you, man. That fear of the Lord, man, that's the key to success, okay? And it says, in, in all wisdom is the performance of the law, all right? So with that wisdom, so with the fear comes the wisdom, and with the wisdom, you'll be able to perform um, uh, the right steps to uh, in this truth, man, okay? You'll know how to handle yourself as a man of the Lord, man. As a man in this truth, okay. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna do we ain't gonna be perfect because we are rehearsing the righteous acts, but you wanna try to do your best to be perfect, man. Okay. So it says, and the knowledge of his impot omnipotency, okay? Knowledge of his power, okay. So the Heavenly Father will bless us with the uh, the uh knowledge of these scriptures man you open our minds to these parables you know give us the understanding man okay he revealed his secrets to his servants to prophets okay because why first of all you have a fear of the lord so he'll keep blessing you you know it talks about wisdom trying you man okay so we all want to uh try our best and do our best and it's truth and not make the same mistakes, man. Okay, that's the thing, man. Don't make the same fucking mistakes that you always make. And we all know what type of mistakes we always make, man. Okay? Don't do that shit no more, man. Come back to the Lord, you know. Ask for forgiveness. Uh, yeah. Pray. Fast. Do what you need to do, man. Because these times is heavy that's about to come upon Israel, man. These, these some heavy times that's about to come, man. So we want to be in the right spirit. And we want to be uh, sort of like for sure that the Heavenly Father is going to be with us. Okay. So how you going to do that? It's having a healthy fear of the Lord. Okay. Healthy fear of the Lord. The Lord will bless you, man. Because you have a fear. Okay. You're going to be blessed. But you must examine yourself on a daily. Keep that in mind. And that, you know, with that, the Lord's going to bless us, man. We're going to have success, man. And ultimately, we're going to be delivered, all right? So, Lord willing, hey, this concludes the lesson. Lord's willing, brothers was edified on this lesson. And with that, I want to say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders and salutations to you, brothers out there that's pushing this truth. Shalom. Shalom.